Erev Tov, Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Breaking news tonight. In one hour, she has come to naught. That's exactly what we are looking at. A brand new uh, article that's just come out. In fact, 20 hours ago, the article I've got on, that I'll have up on my screen in just a moment here uh, just broke. I want to thank uh, Sean for sending me the original site there. I did cross-reference it, Brother Sean, and I was able to get another one as well. Let me show you what we're speaking about before we go to the biblical part of this. Uh, article here, researchers discover, discover extinct volcano near rumbling to life. This is on news.com.au. Uh, and the article here came out 20 hours ago, July 20th here. Located about 30 kilometers from the center of Rome, and guys, that isn't very far in miles. It's only about 20 miles away. There is a volcano rumbling to life as the volcano complex of hills known as Kali uh, Albani has no historical records of eruption. It was long thought to be extinct. However, a team of researchers from the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology in Rome have discovered, discovered Colony Albani is alive and well. It just doesn't erupt very often. An analysis of rocks from the volcano revealed a history of past eruptions which occur when Kali Albani enters an eruptive phase every 31,000 years or so, according to their particular research. Led by vol volcanologist uh, uh, Fabrizio Mara and researchers tracked the Kali Albani uh, recent activity through satellite data and ground-based observations of earthquake swarms and steam vents. What they discovered was in areas where steam vents are emerging, the ground underneath the volcano is inflating at two millimeters per year. More so, the researchers found the area has risen about 50 meters over the past 200,000 years, which suggests a magna is entering fractures beneath the volcano. Now that's just interesting, especially when we take and we go back and we take a look at the biblical side of this, and that is Revelation 18.10, standing afar off uh, for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Now I know many would say, Brother Steve, that is the United States or even Great Britain. Remember, we did a message on Babylon and the daughter of Babylon, and by extension, yes, the United States is in there as well. But Rome itself, clearly identified by Obadiah, and that the two witnesses will judge the Mount of Esau, which is on Mount Zion, showing that the Mount of uh, Mount Zion had become the Mount of Esau, showing Rome had overtaken and divided Jerusalem. It is going to be prophecy. And when it talks about bringing fire down out of heaven, I can't help but wonder if we're not looking at a volcano coming against their enemies. And that has always been historically, Rome has been the enemy of the Jewish people, even as they're slithering in like a snake to take over Jerusalem. Revelation 18 11, the, the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. And believe me, if it wasn't for the Vatican, the United States would not be the powerhouse that it is. Now, looking at the satellite image here, you see Rome right here on your screen. This is the city of Rome. This here is that little lake there that was at one time the volcano. And as you can see, a closer up view of that lake right there now, it is filling up with magma. It is alive, and it will go off when God wants it to go off. I'm Stephen Benoon. Could this be the judgment of Rome in the very near future? The judgment of Babylon. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Guys, stay tuned later this evening. I'll be bringing to you another broadcast as well as we catch up on the events that are going on in Turkey, other things going on all over the world, all kinds of things happening there. Uh, we're still working on the road as well. Different places will be getting to here covering specific things. And thank you for those of you that are supporting this particular type of broadcast, Israeli News Live. We need your support as well as we hope to get a teaching out to you very soon as well. Those of you that enjoy the teaching side. Shalom and God bless you.